Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about what we call coincidental rooms. Now, let's define a coincidental room. Coincidental room is a room where we have two dimensions that are the same size. We could have a width of 14 feet. We could have a length of 14 feet. We could have a height even of 14 feet. That would be a nightmare scenario. Okay, that would be a real coincidental room. Usually you don't see that too often in the room forms that you send in. What we do see, we see a lot of width and we see a lot of length similarities. Those two dimensions, width and length, need to vary, okay? We like to say 10% on a minimum, 25% is even better. So when you're looking at rooms for your uh, audio usages, try to make sure that the length, width, all vary and, and never have two that they're the same. Now what happens when we have this coincidental situation? What happens when we have width and length or height uh, with the same uh, dimension? We have a pressure increase. We won't go into the physics in this video of why that's the case. You can read about it uh, on the internet. There's plenty of sources, good sources about that. But let's just say for the sake of this discussion, that we have unwanted pressure that's exaggerated because the dimensions are the same. We have enough unwanted pressure in our rooms. We don't need to exaggerate anything. Remember, the first rule in acoustics is do no harm. So we don't want to do anything by choosing a room that has a width and length, a width and a height, a length and a height that's the same. So we want to make sure we vary those dimensions. Now, what does that do? It reduces our cost for treatment. It reduces the amount of space we need for treatment. So the bottom line here is, try to find rooms that have dimensions that vary. And I'm gonna say that 25% is a good number that we should choose for. We can get away with less, but try to find dimensions that vary by 25% so that we're not increasing our unwanted low frequency pressure issues. That we're not adding more delay to the reflections and the time signatures off our sidewalls. So make sure that we're not doing any harm, okay? Sometimes we have to physically alter the room. I got a call the other day from a client in Jamaica. He has a room that's 12, 12, 12. And he told me, I just bought $10,000 worth of product from one of your competitors, and I put it in my room, and the room sounds horrible. And I, he was a doctor. I said, doctor, did they ask you what your room size was before they prescribed $10,000 worth of treatment. He said, no, Dennis, they didn't. So he said, what do I do? I said, well, you send the treatment back for one because we got to use that money to tear out a wall. So we have to physically alter the room to make it viable so that we can treat it. 12, 12, 12, untreatable. We have the world's most powerful low frequency absorption technology and with a room of those dimensions, a cube, it's impossible to get the low frequency energy managed correctly. So that example gives you an idea of how critical things are. So be very careful in your ratios. Try to get as much height as you can in your room. 10 feet minimum, 11 feet's ideal. 12, 13, and 14 are ecstatic if we could ever see those, you know. So I work a lot in LA in the studios in LA, the old studios, Capitol, Sunset, all those all 14 foot ceilings and there's a reason for that and so you want to make sure that we have the right room size and volume and we're not doing any harm by having dimensions that are same thank you thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up we also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter and then don't forget about our forum we have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.